Right. Hey, tubers! Still with this one. Still haven't outro the last video yet, but we're still exploring. We're looking at Ham Street ROC post today. Or now. If it's still there. Definitely looks like it. Let's pan you around quickly, tubers. We're not 100% sure of its location, but that looks like an ROC post gate to me. And these steps look rather inviting. They look pretty old. Yeah. Um, there's a gate here. Oh, I can see the vent. Hey. I can see the vent. <laughs> see the vent. Oh, and I can see. Oh dear. This may be a retreat. <laughs> oh dear, we're going to have to work our way through and. Come back, tubers. See you in a second. Right, tubers. Progress report. Here we are. I can't see anything, Mark. Can you? No, no, no. I can't see the screen. Am I looking at you and the? Yeah. As you yeah. can see, then, tubers. Uh, this one's heavily overgrown. Um, Going to take a photo of down the shaft. Currently in the video, I'm not really sure if we're going to get down this one, but there is a Type 23. Uh, pillbox the other side of here it was quite overgrown but we look like we're gonna have more success at looking at that one but we are trying to see if we can push some stuff out of the way but we'll take a photo down the hatch minimum anyway we'll be back shortly tubers cheers well tubers we battled through the brambles probably 20 minutes work and we're in looks nothing like it does on the subbrit website it's at, I've taken some nice photos I should cut them in. Look. Absolute trash. And it looked quite a nice one, didn't it? Ten yeah. years ago. 2008, Mark Russell from Subbrit was here photographing it. It looked like the local kids kept it a nice little play den. And sadly, light up the uh, furniture. I don't know if you can make that out, tubers. But quite clearly, people have fires in them. I mean, sad. But there is nothing. Let's turn the camera around. We well, shouldn't have pointed those spiders out, man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look. Absolutely wrecked. Very little remains of any ROC stuff. I mean, obviously, the big, hard physical structures are still there, but the furniture that once existed is all gone. This, this is original, I think. Yeah. I've seen this in other ones, so that's yeah. the same. And I reckon that swivel chair. What's you can see it. where it perhaps should sit there. Yeah. And I think that swivel chair there. Yeah. Is original. That's it. But everything else is gone. Apart from the pump. I mean, that's still there. Yeah, the handle's not on it, though. Yeah. That's been snapped off. But what a pity. Let's have a look at this ghostly uh, chair spinning. Mm. But do you know what? How long this has been sat? Look at the state of it. Yeah. It doesn't make a noise. It's very quiet. Doesn't Deer squeak quiet. or nothing. I could do it in your desk chair. Oh look, could that be an original source one? Mm, there we go. Got mouldy stuff in it though. Yeah, it probably is, isn't it? <laughs> 1980s food. There is a date on this floor. That's uh, the manufacturer's stamp on the uh, 1980. iron bar. 1980? Yep. On this floor. Blimey, that's been redone. Really mm. Unless, Mark, unless that's just the part number. Yeah, it could be. 
Right then tubers, let's go and have a look at that Type 23 pillbox above. Right tubers, I'm sat on top of the Type 23 pillbox. Now I need to Google what Type 23 pillbox is. Because to me, this doesn't feel like there would have been many machine guns out. I mean, if we look at the side, see it? it that's a vent. I'm, I'm a bit curious to what went on here. In the middle of this Type 23, just behind my head, I'll get a better view of that in a minute, but there's almost like um, what I assume to be in the top of an Orlet B that would have had the um, equipment attached to it. You can hear Mark just thrashing around the side of the brambles to try and expose this thing a little bit more. It's been a real adventure here. Not while I can say it's been totally enjoyable. There is so much, li it's evident that the local kids do just, or have, trashed the place. I mean, the bunker, as you saw, was absolutely atrocious. I don't know. Oh, he's in. Yay. He's in. He's in. Get my pound coin back that's on the floor. <laughs> what? Yeah, there's a pound coin of mine on the floor. Yeah, I ain't gonna find that in here. Are you bloody... Right, I'll be back in a minute, Tube. There's a so pound coin is a pound coin. I'll see you in a second. As I was saying, Tubers, I don't think this is uh, a pillbox as in a machine gun type. I think this is more, you know, observation sort of pillbox. So I, if I find anything out before I've outroed this video, I'll obviously give you that information. But look at the view they would be looking at. What a cracking place to be observing from. <coughs> Elevated and almost a good 360 degrees round. I mean, that's overgrown behind us, so it's always going to... We're literally on top of a hill. So with that there, gone, if you could imagine that, the viewing would be fantastic. And again, let's turn you around. As you can see, evidently, there may have been something above. <coughs> I could be, you know, what... You know, on, a, on the part of the remaining of the first floor. Yeah, look, there's like a lip here. Yeah. Right. In fact, I'll, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to Google Type 23 pillbox now. But look, there's an, even the old telegraph pole. I wonder if this was a master post. Anyway, maybe a second. Right, then, tubers, we've, we've had a look at it. Uh, Subbrit says it resembles a Type 23. But when I Googled Type 23, I don't know. Could be a converted pillbox used for the Cold War era, you know, war era, you know, World War II. Someone out there must know. Yeah, because it's got this, what I assume to be, I'll get a picture of it in a second because you can't quite see it. There, the rectangle, that I imagine to be in all it bees with the post and the instrument sat on top for observing planes, you know, spotting planes. Let's turn the camera around again. And this one's got like a place where people could have slept. Partially flooded. Ah, oh, there we go, look. What? It could have had machine guns, look. The outside's been bricked up. There's the old holes, perhaps. Yeah? Mm, possible. It is a complete mystery. I, like I said, I think it was a pillbox which was then converted. And then that was bricked up when it was converted. Yeah. Probably keep them warmer, drier. But as you can see, it's heavily overgrown. I'm not sure if this is a master post because there is its own telegraph pole. I didn't look, I forgot to read. The cable's still hanging. We've got a telegraph pole like that in Hastings at the moment. I mean, it's literally right next to it, so it would make sense. Yeah. That was part of it. All right then, tubers. Look at that view once more. That really is it for this week's uh, video. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to like, subscribe. I'll leave a link below for um, Urban Mark's channel. I, uh, Urban Exploration UK. Urban Explorers UK. Explorers you UK. You always make that mistake. Yes, I can't remember which is which. Explorers. Remember. It's urban explorers. It's banned explorers, you guys. <laughs> look, look, look.
If you do that, look. No, your t-shirt's not gonna do it, look. That's how his t-shirt or his jumper once read when I looked at it. I was like, hmm, that's not what we want to advertise. <laughs> we want to ban the bad ones. Anyway, tubers, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.